Howdy folks, this is Alex with Behind the Net Goaltending, and today we're going to go over a little bit of depth management and post-play analysis. I've got six clips for you here today, and um, yeah, I'm just going to walk you through sort of my thought process of what I'm seeing in this in this film and, and what I'm thinking while I'm on the ice. So let's start. All right, so here, uh, my defense is doing a great job keeping the attacker wide. Uh, at this moment, I am standing at an angle that would be for a above the hash shot. Uh, but because my defenseman steered the shooter wide, uh, as we see here, we move into a dead angle. And then from there, we integrate with our post. Uh, you want to keep a nice little bit of knee bend here. Um, part of the reason why I was making this video is because someone asked a question on the hockey goaltending subreddit on whether or not you should use a, a two pad uh, vertical sort of integration with your post. And uh, I'm going to break down sort of why I don't do that. I know a lot of people who play goalie are from a different era of goaltending where where a save selection like that is you know commonplace someone you might think of uh is ray emery who, who would make a lot of saves like that but anyways um rebound control is a big part of my game and so i'm gonna break down why i don't do that so a little bit of knee bend here uh allows me to go down into an rvh save uh if i need to but it also allows me to you know have some power, mobility, ability to move around my crease uh, for plays that are developing. So the shooter brings the puck around the net, making sure to keep an active stick here so he can't get a nifty little pass to this guy here. But I've got my defense to help me out for that anyways. From here, it would have been nice to have a little head check so I would have known where this shooter was. But I see the pass and I quickly get set and square to where that shot may come from. Uh, unfortunately, the shooter couldn't make that shot, so I have time to get square and set for the next opportunity. So yeah, anyways, keep your hands in front of you, track the puck in and out of you. Let's move on to the next clip. This is just a simple blocking VH save. Uh, we've got puck in the corner down here. And uh, this little guy here, he's ready to take a shot. But that right there is what we call a dead angle. So he had to settle puck down, gets ready for his shot. I read the shot come in, and I make a blocking VH save. Oh, and I did not squeeze my arm tight right there at all. If you're going to go into a VH save, you want to squeeze that far side arm so pucks don't trickle out. Luckily, I had some puck luck there and uh, got a lucky bounce. Defenseman cleared it. This is just an example of... A little wrap round. Now here, on the wrap, I make a mistake. This is a situation where I should be on my feet because this guy up here could shoot the puck, uh, and and you know he's got all of this net open. Uh, the VH RVH would have been nice here if the uh, shooter would have shot the puck at me here, but uh, I mean there's. There's this guy here waiting for a shot. There's this guy here waiting for a shot. I mean, I'm trusting my defense here, but um, that's that's a very big threat for you as a goaltender. So I recognize that threat, and I immediately try to react, get to my feet. Um, but unfortunately, I wouldn't have been able to get to the top of my crease, and there would have been a lot of a lot of space for that shooter to take a shot. So my luck bailed me out there, but might not be so lucky in the future <laughs> all right uh, again crouching on the post here I've got my elbow outside of the net that allows me to keep an active stick take away any passing opportunities to this guy right here Steve-o anyways here I make a push to my post keeping that leg bent active stick look at all these layers I tell you I've got some great defense here in the hockey finder St. Paul League um, Let's see, did I get a head check in? Okay. Yeah, yep, peeked that little guy there. Anyways, shooter comes out of the corner, and uh, so I know there's a threat sitting in the slot here. 
and he makes a wonderful pass and honestly i was not ready for this shot i got square to the puck but i was not set i was still sliding here as the shot's coming in so as you can see i am not in a balanced position i was sort of at the top of my crease but uh that's that's something i can get away with because of my size not all goaltenders are six foot five giants like me anyways puck comes in hits my pad and uh, this guy just has the juiciest rebound in the world. Uh, I throw my glove at it, try to get my foot down to, to push over and, and get more of me in front of that puck. And luckily that puck bounced right off the cheater of my glove. And <laughs> oh, another, another lucky bounce, man. Tonight was my night. Um, here I'm just keeping on my toes, keeping a relaxed stance, uh, getting ready for a shot here. And now here, I go into the RVH because I don't know whether or not this shooter on the right is actually going to shoot at me or try and make a pass and have that guy uh, try and score a goal. But at, in this scenario, you got to trust your defense. When you have the ability to trust your defense, it allows you to play the game in a much more methodical manner. And, you know, my defenseman took away the stick and... Uh, Puck goes out of the zone. All right, we've got a puck down, dumped into the corner, sliding to my post, nice little post integration. Got my glove down here, just keeping that post nice and sealed. Nothing's going to slip through. Keeping that active stick so nothing bounces in between my skates. Nice little head check there. And if you know that all four of the skaters are on this side of the ice, that means, hey, there's one more guy. Where could he be? Well, it's on the far side. This shot right here is just below the hash marks, so it's a bit of a dead angle. I can get, you know, integrated with my post, but um, this is more going to be a, a blocking save than a reactionary save. So right here, I know I've got my far side covered. I know I've got my short side covered. I'm just waiting for the shot or perhaps even a pass. I am set. I am square ready for that shot and just a beauty of an armpit save track the puck in didn't panic and just here's a little bonus clip here of uh whew, getting set and square and not scared of the clapper coming at my head one little thing to note here is um i go down on this save but Honestly, if you have the time to, and you're set in square, you can read that play and just stand up. Uh, I have the luxury of, of being able to cover the crossbar while I'm down in my butterfly, but not, honestly, not everyone does. So um, what works for me may not work for you. And lastly, we're just going to finish with a textbook RVH save. So I see this guy in the corner, he takes his shot, and I make an RVH save. Easy as that. Anyways, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.